கண்டுபிடிக்கும் முயன்றாய்ந்து அதனை அவன் கண் விட குட் மார்னிங் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் என்டிஏ அபியாஸ் நீட் டெஸ்ட் 1 to 40 chapter wise assignment question paper discussion i am dr ratishree the senior botany faculty of spiro prime education institutes namakkal and chennai so today we are going to discuss the question paper discussion of two botany chapters biotechnology principle and processes and biotechnology and its applications proceeding to the question paper a transgenic food crop which may help in solving the problem of night blindness in developing countries dear students in the developing countries like uh, many of the places where the people having the problem of night blindness so the vitamin a enriched the rice has been introduced which is called as a golden rice the name comes the golden rice because it is going to have the golden color tinge so this golden rice where the beta carotene gene was introduced what it is genetically engineered rice where this beta carotene is going to produce vitamin a and it will nullify blindness right so here the student the correct option is going to be the option d the golden rice the ideal cloning vector should have <clears throat> see the cloning vector has the property of carrying the gene of interest from uh, uh, the designer into the host where it should get replicated right so this ideal cloning vector should have definitely the rest- restriction site because if it is has the restriction site this particular the vector will be opened up and the gene of interest is going to be inserted uh, and then we are going to proceed for the genetic engineering process and the selectable marker is also another important feature because it is going to select the particular recombinant or non or it's going to eliminate the non recombinant so the selectable marker is going to be usually the antibiotic resistant gene and third one is going to be the origin of replication yes to this is the most important point for this vector because without the origin of replication the particular vector is not going to divide into the host so dear student for the uh, for this question the correct option is going to be all of these that is the option d is the correct answer for this question so next question question number 3 which of the following pair is not correctly matched so the recombinant dna dna formed by joining the segments of dna from different sources yes it is a chimeric gene correct the purine nitrogen bases cytosin timing and release dear students the purine is adenine and guanine right so here it is given as cytosine thymine and uracil which are pyrimidine so this is the incorrect option dear students in the atp the principal energy carrying compound in the cell yes rna rrna rna molecule found in the ribosome yes so the incorrect option here is going to be the option question number 4 and nematode myeloid acne in condition impacts the roots of tobacco plants and causes a great reduction in yield a novel strategy was adopted to the plants uh, adopted to prevent this infestation which was based on the procedure or the process of dear student here the myeloid acne incognitia said nematode it's going to affect the drastic yield of tobacco plants right so a novel method has been introduced okay this constitute this rna interference yes this mechanism is called as rna which do the mrna silencing yes this process the uh, mrna is going to get silenced and it is the anti sense rna technology yes you are going to form the complementary rna double stranded rna so the correct option for this question is going to be option d all of these question number 5 the transgenic crops are modified through the genetic engineering to develop natural resistant to insect pests which of the pairs of consist of transgenic crop so here they are asking the transgenic crop pairs so here so the bt rice is a transgenic whereas tomato is not so here it is not so and bt tomato so dear students here the correct combination the pairs is going to be the option a bt tobacco and bt cotton <clears throat> excuse me question number 
in eco r1 the letter r is derived from dear student you know this is a restriction in nucleases that were isolated from the bacteria e coli where e stands for the genus right and e coli escherichia e stands for escherichia genus co stands for the species okay and r stands for the strain okay usually you have many strains of particular bacteria that is going to differ in a particular bacterial Uh, nucleotide sequences these we call it as a strain so r is strain and n uh, constitute to the sequence of discovery that is the um, one okay so here they are asking about the letter r so the letter r here denotes the the particular strain right the correct option is option c so question number 7 which among the following uh, uh, amongst the following which characteristic feature is not applicable to bt cotton Dear yes, student, Bt is abbreviated term for botulinum toxin. Dear yes, student, Bt stands for Bacillus thuringiensis toxin. So here it is the first option itself is not applicable to the Bt cotton. It is a Bacillus thuringiensis, a bacteria. So the uh, the correct option for this question is going to be option A. Which of the following statement is wrong with respect to restriction modification system as the foundation of our DNA technology? So The restriction endonuclease identifies introduced foreign DNA and cuts into pieces. Yes, it is one of the host uh, um, protection mechanism, defense mechanism that if any foreign DNA or a foreign pathogen enters into it, it is going to kill that particular um, nucleic acid. So the modification enzyme adds a methyl group to one of the one or two bases, usually within the recognition site of the restriction endonuclease system. Yes. the modification yes this is a process where the host system is not going to be cleaved only the foreign nucleic acid is going to be cleaved the protection where the methylation of the bases occurs usually within the host system so this is also the correct uh, uh, option the restriction endonuclease can cleave any palindromic sequence so dear student this is the wrong statement because um, the restriction endonuclease is specific for example the eco r1 restriction enzyme it is going to cleave the particular um, palindromic sequences okay it is going to cleave particularly at the the bond that exists between g and a right um, so it is uh, usually we call this as a palindromic sequences because you can see it is going to read the same back and forth right so see here g a a t t c hence g a a t t c so these are going to be bases of nearly um, 6 uh, to 8 base is per sequences okay here it is going to be specific okay? it cannot cleave any sequences uh, mm, taken for a chance okay so the correct of uh, the correct uh, option for this question is going to be option c okay so which of the following is a restriction endonuclease so restriction endonuclease is of the group of enzymes that is going to cleave the specific nucleotides okay in the target mm, so these are uh, based on these are especially they are uh, only produced in the mm, eukaryotic uh, sorry prokaryotic organisms like bacteria so there are many restriction enzymes like e co r1 bam h1 restriction uh, the many uh, restriction hind2 okay hind2 is actually the hemophilus influenzae okay the hemophilus influenzae um, bacteria um, is going to produce the particular uh, restriction uh, uh, endonuclease okay so the correct option is going to be option a because the protease is going to is an enzyme that is going to cleave the protein this is not a restriction endonuclease okay so the hind2 is a restriction endonuclease that is produced by the hemophilus influenzae so the correct option is going to be um, option b what is the insertional activation dear students for example if this is the particular uh, antibiotic resistant gene tet uh, that is a tetracycline resistant gene you are going to insert a particular gene here what is going to happen the you are going to mm, break open this particular tetracycline resistant gene okay so actually this particular property is going to lost because you are going to insert a particular gene so that this gene is going to get inactivated so the tetracycline resistance is going to be Mm, lost so the correct option for this question is going to be uh, the inactivation of the gene for the synthesis of the enzyme because uh, mm, this particular uh, segment is going to get inactivated by inserting a gene of interest right so the correct option is option c question number 11 silencing of a gene with 
gene could be achieved through the use of Mm, so silencing gene silencing is nothing but you are good there are various steps where you can silence it the particular important step is the mrna is going to be mm, silenced by forming a complementary rna by adding a complementary rna they are going to form a complementary double strand like the structure like this so that the particular gene expression is going to be blocked right so here gene silencing could be achieved through the use of rna is but it is not only right anti sense rna technology yes we can all to use this but it uh, given us only so this both rna and antisense rna technology should dear students this is the correct option option c is correct so question number 12 so during rdna technology which one of the following enzymes is used for cleaving the dna molecules so they are asking which uh, enzyme is going to cut the dna molecule right mm, so exonuclease is exonuclease enzyme is also mm, uh, used to cut the dna specifically from the ends right and endonuclease is going to cleave the dna especially from the middle okay from inside mm, so these are also these are all the uh, cleaving enzymes right but the question is so during the rdna technology so in the recombinant dna technology we especially use the restriction endonuclease the difference between these exonuclease and endonuclease from the restriction endonuclease is that it's going to give specifically the restriction endonuclease cleave the specific uh, nucleotide sequence okay it is not going to uh, cut the rand say random sequence so restriction endonuclease 2 is the most frequently used endonuclease so it is going to be specific in its target so question number 13 read the following statement and choose the correct option agrobacterium tumefaciens a pathogen of several monocot plants is able to deliver say here the incorrect statement it is uh, given as a monocot plant it is not so it is a mm, dicot plant so the tumor inducing ti plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens has been modified into a cloning vector which is no more pathogenic to the plants yes the statement mm, two is correct dear students see um the in case of the agrobacterium tumefaciens there is a special plasmid called as the ti plasmid so the ti plasmid has a special segment called as the tdna segment so this tdna segment especially causes the this is the region uh, that causes the tumor in the plants okay mm, this is the region that is more pathogenic to the plant so in our dna technology we actually cut this particular portion of the tdna we are going to insert our gene of interest here okay so our gene of interest is inserted here and now it with the help of the agrobacterium tumefaciens if we introduce it into the host cell mm, now this tdna the uh, since the tdna portion is the removed we call it as a disarmed vector and now it can carry our gene of interest into the particular host and deliver it into the host okay so the correct answer is going to be option 3 dear students the statement 1 is correct incorrect and statement 2 is correct So, question number fourteen. Fourteen. Read the following statements. Which one of the following statement is incorrect? Okay. Um. So, G A A T is a recognition site for E. coli one. Yes. Just now, I have said the E. coli one is isolated from the bacteria E. coli, Escherichia coli. So, it has a specific target sequence of G A A T T. C is going to especially keep the sequence between the G and um in between the bond in between the G and K. Agrobacterium tumefaciens is for cloning the genes in plants. Yes, it is also a correct statement. In the restriction in Zimbabwe, co R one the co stands for the co stands for the species, right? I have already explained you. It stands for the co enzyme. Dear students, this is the incorrect option because the co stands for the species, right? So the correct option in this question is going to be option C. <clears throat> Question number fifteen: Tobacco resistant plant, uh, tobacco plants resistant to the nematode have developed by introducing of DNA that produced uh, mm, that produce. So question number: mm, Tobacco resistant plants to a nematode have been developed by introduction of DNA that produce. Yes. Mm, see, uh, the correct option for this question is going to be the. Um, it's going to be the option t because uh, uh, it follows both the rna and also the here where the the particular tobacco the insect specific genes we are going to introduce into the host cell and this is going to form a complementary base pairing when the insect comes in in fact uh, in fact the particular tobacco plant mm, so here uh, we are using both the um, rna interference uh, technique and also the anti sense rna so the option d is going to be correct for this question question number 16 Mm, the vector must 
also have one unique recognition site to enable the foreign DNA to be inserted into a vector during the generation of our DNA molecule. Most commonly used vectors contain a unique recognition site for several restriction enzyme in a small region of DNA, which is referred to as a polylinker or multiple cloning site. And MCS provides it. Mm, so, dear student, uh, usually the multiple cloning site, okay, it gives us the chance for for using many restriction enzymes. For example, PBR322 contains the eight uh, cloning sites for the restriction enzyme, so we can use eight different restriction enzymes. So, it gives this um, multiple cloning site or MCS provides uh, the flexibility in selecting the choice of restriction enzyme, right? So, the correct option is option B, dear students. So question number 17, which of these is not a feature of a cloning vector? So here, uh, or I support the high copy number. Yes, it is a direct NCRT. It contains a selectable marker. So the resistant to the action of restriction enzyme. So here, this is the incorrect option. It should not be resistant to the action of restriction enzyme, dear students. If the restriction enzyme is going to be added, if it contains a eco R1 site, if you are going to add this restriction enzyme, it should, should be able to cleave this particular site so that it can be opened up and form the linear fragment, right? So it should not be resistant. The so the correct, um, this is not a feature of a cloning vector. So the correct option is option C. So the primers used in the PCR must be used. So what is the PCR? PCR is the polymerase chain reaction. You are going to amplify the small amount of DNA to n number of DNA, right? Mm, so you are going to increase the number amount of DNA via the PCR. So the PCR actually, mm, you are going to have a three prime, five prime end. Already you are going to add the primers. You are going to add the deoxyribonucleoside triphosphate, right? Mm, and you are going to add the DNA polymerase. Uh, the thing here is the primers used in the PCR. They usually mm, the DNA template uh, is going to be in the di direction of three prime to five prime, right? right? So your primer should uh, usually start with three, five prime to three prime in the direction. So the particular primer what we are using it should be three n specific, right? So the correct option is here. It should be it should be three prime n specific. So question number 19, the variant of cry genes used in the core borders are. Dear student, here, here for this, you should understand that um, you should memorize this. The cry 1AB, it codes for the corn borer. Okay, it codes for corn borer, whereas cry 2A. No, B and cry 1AC, it codes for bowl worms. Okay, so here the question is the cry genes used to control corn borers. Definitely, it is going to be cry 1AB, right? So, the correct option for this question is going to be option B. So, please memorize all these type of questions. So, which of the following vectors has been used for the introducing nematode specific genes in the infected tobacco plants? Dear students, I already explained you in here the uh, mostly in plants we use the agrobacterium tunifacians, which is nothing but the gram negative bacterium. So, this gram negative bacterium it is going to introduce this particular mm, genes into the host plant that is a tobacco plant, right? It is going to uh, enter via the root and it is going to um, uh, introduce the genes into the host plant. So the correct option is going to be the agrobacterium tumefaciens option D. So which of the following feature of a vector is required for identify required to identify the transformed cell? So here, uh, if you are if you want to identify whether the particular gene of interest what you have inserted has been taken up by the particular cell and it is uh, we have to identify whether it is transformed or not transformed. So we use the property of the uh, um, of the antibiotic resistant gene that is being present in the particular vector. Mm, so if the particular gene is opened up, if the gene of interest is going to be inserted, the particular property has been going to be lost. Right? We call that as insertional inactivity right so the correct option is going to be we are going to utilize the character that is a selectable marker to identify the transformed cell so the correct option is going to be option a so the next question question number 22 the figure below is the diagrammatic representation of e coli of pbr322 which one of the given option correctly identify its certain components 
so ori original restriction site right? sorry it is the uh, ori uh, is nothing but a origin of replication it is the original uh, restriction enzyme rop rop stands for is uh, repressor of primer here it is said to be the reduced osmotic pressure it is saying correct statement hind3 co r1 is a selectable marker mm, here these students in this case these are the restriction uh, site uh, enzymes especially so these is the incorrect option where we use the amphicillin and tetracycline resistant genes as a selectable marker in pbr322 mm, so these i think the option d is the correct option here due to here uh, amphicillin resistant and tetracycline resistance codes for the antibiotic resistant gene so it is correctly mentioned here option d is correct 23 if the gene of inserted damage on site in pbr322 the recombinant plasmid will so dear student if you are going to i have already explained if you are going to cut the bam h1 site we are going to inter, insert the gene of interest in this particular uh, portion the tetracycline resistance is going to lost if you have the tetracycline resistance if you are going to mm, grow the organism in this particular tetracycline medium definitely it is going to grow because it has the property of this resistance now this gene is inserted inactivated so if you grow this bacteria into the Mm, medium containing the tetracycline definitely it will not grow because it has been insertion inactivated so dear students the correct option is going to be option d will not grow on a tetracycline containing medium question number 24 that stirred tank to bioreactors have been designed for so already i have explained this in the Uh, previous paper so it is relevant to the topic so it is depending on the availability so it increases the availability of oxygen throughout the process right so which of the following are the steps in genetic engineering so isolation of DNA. yes if you want that particular uh, gene you have to isolate the gene from the particular cell right and then you have to uh, uh, separate the particular fragment the particular sequence producing the particular enzyme or particular mm, hormone by using the restriction in nucleus this is also a correct and isolation of the desired fragment gene yes the particular desired fragment is going to be mm, separated via the gel electrophoresis dear students here for this question option d is correct because all these steps or uh, steps of genetic engineer mark the incorrect pair bt cotton genes from the agrobacterium this is incorrect yes right bt cotton means bacillus thuringiensis cotton it is a genetically engineered plant so this is the incorrect the first option itself is a incorrect option how many given statements are incorrect so question number 27 the plasmid is autonomously replicating circular extra chromosomal dna yes it is the correct one the ligase enzyme belong to the larger class of enzyme called as a nucleases dear student this is the incorrect option because nucleases are going to cleave the nucleotide sequences whereas ligase enzymes are going to seal that particular nids or like particular cut so it is a uh, incorrect option here ligases are glues molecular glues whereas the nucleases are uh, molecular scissors Mm, DNA fragment or negatively charged fragment molecules. Yes, this is the correct option. And uh, E. coli always has the genes encoding the resistance to the antibiotic ampicillin, and it should be tetracycline, right? It is given chloramphenicol. So, dear students, there are two um, statements that are incorrect. So, option B is correct here. So, question number twenty-eight. Which one is true? Statement regarding the DNA polymerase used in the PCR. So, polymerase chain reaction. The very important thing is here. The polymerase chain reaction has three steps. The one is denaturation. The second one is the uh, annealing, and third one is the extension step. Right. So, in this, in the denaturation step, we are going to use the temperature more than ninety-five degrees centigrade. So, this uh, at this enzyme, the enzyme uh, at this temperature, the enzyme what we are using should not be. in nature it should be thermostable so there is a special dna polymerase the thermostable polymerase called as a tan dna polymerase that has been isolated from thermus aquaticus has been used in this pcr we should remember that one regarding this question right mm, so uh, it is used to ligate the introduced uh, um 
the recipient really relevant to the question it serves as a selectable marker it's isolated from the, the dear student all these are incorrect so mm, it is not isolated from the uh, this thing uh, it is irrelevant so it remains active at a high temperature yes the enzymes or the mm, particular process the dna we are using polymerase using here is isolated from the bacteria called as thermos aquaticus it is active Mm, uh, at 95 degrees centigrade okay it is active at a high temperature so the option d is correct so in general electrophoresis is used for cutting the dna fragments to dna to fragments it is incorrect option so d in general electrophoresis is nothing but is agarose um uh, it is a um, polymer that is isolated from the seaweeds right mm, so this is going to separate the dna fragments based upon the size if you are going to have the smaller size dna fragment it is going to uh, pass through this pores very fast and it's going to present nearer to the anode end right so it is going to involve in the separation of the dna fragments your student option b is correct here question number 30 the colonies of recombinant bacteria appear white in contrast to the blue colonies of non recombinant bacteria here Mm, see, uh, this is about the chromogenic substrate what we are using. So, particularly if you are going to have a plasmid like it is going to have a vector, this vector contains a lac Z gene. You know, the list lac Z gene is going to produce an enzyme called as beta galactosidase. Mm, if this particular uh, beta galactosidase is going to be insertionally inactivated by inserting the gene, what is going to happen? This particular beta galactosidase is not going to be produced. Mm, so, if you grow this particular bacteria in the medium containing X car, Okay, this uh, beta galactosidase is not there, so the, uh, the recombinant is going to remain white in color. Mm, okay, so the recombinants are white, whereas if the particular uh, gene is not present, or gene of interest is not inserted, mm, this beta galactosidase is going to be normal, and this beta galactosidase is going to flee this X gal and produce some blue color colony. So, what you understand from this is the recombinant is remain the recombinant is remaining white, whereas the non recombinant is going to be blue in color. So, dear students, the correct option here is the insertion insertion inactivation of beta galactosidase in a Mm, recombinant bacteria so the colonies remains white right so question number 31 which enzymes are not used for isolation of dna so first if you select if you want to clone this particular gene of interest that is a particular dna you have to take this dna or isolate this dna from the cell right we have to clear the particular cell you have to break down the cell and you have to isolate the particular DNA. For this, we use various slicing enzymes, right? The cellulase, it is going to break the, the plant cell wall because it is made up of cellulose. And the cellulase is going to digest the cellulose. Mm, so it is the correct option here. It is used to isolate the DNA from the plant cell. The lysozyme, whereas the bacterial cell wall is going to be cleaved. The peptidoglycan, glycosidic linkages is going to be cleaved by the help of the lysozyme. So this is also as important in isolation of DNA from a bacterial cell. Well, DNA is going to cleave the DNA. It is not going to have any proper well, um, work in this particular RDNA technology. And lyase is also, is also um, irrelevant to this particular question. So the correct option is going to be, dear students, the enzyme that is not used for this um, isolation in the DNA is going to be option C, that is 3 and 4, because they are not going to have any work here. So coming to the question number 32. Which of the following statements are correct for the enzyme tag DNA polymerase? It remains active during the higher temperature. Yes, it is the correct statement. We have discussed this earlier. It requires the primers for carrying out the process of polymerization. Yes, we have to add the primer. This is the in vitro process. This process is going to occur in the laboratory. Mm -hmm. So this uh, we have to add the primers for this reaction. It induces the denature of double stranded DNA. Dear students, here the denaturation that is the double stranded is going to be separated to single standard due to the higher temperature and not because of this enzyme tag DNA polymerase, right? So the correct option here is option uh, statement one and two are correct according to the tag DNA polymerase given here. <clears throat> Question number 33, the PCR is a cyclic process that is used to amplify the DNA fragments. During the amplification, the number of cycles is generally kept between 30 to 40 cycles. How many number of DNA strands will be produced if the number of the cycles were kept at 10? Dear student, for this type of question, uh, the number of cycle is, the formula is going to be 2 to the power n. Okay, so the number of uh, cycle is 2 to the power 10 here. The correct option is going to be option D. 
2024. The construction of first recombinant DNA emerged with an idea of linking an antibiotic resistant genes with a native plasmid of. Dear students, mm, the first RDNA was constructed by Cohen and Boyer. Okay, the Cohen and Boyer in the year mm, 1972. Okay, 1972, they um, what isolated the antibiotic resistant gene from a bacteria and inserted into a natty plasmid of Salmonella typhi murium. So the correct option is going to be option A, dear students. Statement 1, biolistic method of gene transfer is an example of direct gene transfer. Yes, this is the correct statement. In biolistic method, PBR322 is used. Dear students, the PBR322 is a vector. Now we are going to, we are dealing with the gene transfer method, right? Gene transfer involves the direct gene transfer methods and indirect gene transfer methods, okay? Um, so direct gene transfer method, that uh, shortcut method, okay, or microinjection, all these will come. The PBR322 is a vector used in the construction of this um, uh, recombinant DNA. So it is, uh, uh, it, uh, it, is, it doesn't find any place in this uh, gene introduction right so the statement two is incorrect here so the correct option is going to be option c the statement one is true and statement two is wrong so there are three basic steps in creating genetically modified organism each steps in the correct sequences so for question number 36 i think so this comes under the zoology portion of biotechnology um so uh, what is this it is going to be um, first we have to identify our gene of uh, interest right so uh, our gene of interest has been identified and then we have to introduce this particular DNA. We have to isolate it, fragment it, and then we have to introduce it to the particular mm, host. And then after introducing to the host, we should uh, mm, uh, look into whether this DNA has been transferred into the progeny. So the correct order of sequences is going to be C, A, B. So the correct answer is going to be option D. The cry gene is associated with. Uh, dear student, uh, you know the cry gene actually it produces the uh, cry uh, protein, right? Crystal protein. The uh, the name cry comes from the crystal. Uh, so it is a crystallized protein. It is going to be almost 130 kb uh, kilo Dalton protein. Okay. Mm, so this is going to be inactive form as a protoxin in, in the uh, in bacteria. So when this is going to be uh, reaching the in insect midgut, okay, in the alkaline pH, it is going to be cleaved and form converted into active form of a pro, uh, toxin and it is going to create a pose in the insect gut and the uh, insect is going to die out of starvation right mm, so here the cry gene is associated with the baseless thuringian stock uh, bacteria because this gene is present only in this uh, baseless thuringian bacteria Question number 38, DNA is a very long polymer and there are technical limitations in sequencing a very long pieces of DNA. The long sequences of these DNA fragments are sequenced using, okay, here we use, uh, this comes under the human genome project. Dear students, the large uh, size of the DNA can be cloned via the bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosome. We are back almost, we approximately 300 kilo Dalton of protein. Uh, um, uh, KB DNA is going to be um, cloned, whereas in uh, YAC, it is yeast artificial chromosome where is going to approximately 1,000 to 2,000 KB DNA can be cloned. So the correct option is going to be option T, both B and C. Question number 39, the ECO-R1 always cut the DNA molecules at a particular point by recognizing the speak and sequence between. Dear students, I already explained to you, this is the sequence for the mm, ECO-R1. Okay, this is the palindrome sequences, right? So this ECO-R1 is going to specifically leave the mm, sequences in between G and A, okay? And it is going to uh, uh, give the single hand overhand. So these are going to overhang, okay? Mm, so we call this as... Uh, single stand overhang like this okay so they are going to clear the sequences at uh, g and a the correct option is going to be option a match the following sequences agrobacterium is ta plasmid right bacillus thuringiensis is going to be the cry gene and malonide incognitia it is the root of tobacco plant and gene therapy it is ADA. So, for correct, uh, correct option for this is going to be option C. So, it is the easy question. 
the probe used in the molecular diagnosis diseases so i think so the probe what is actually the probe actually it is a single stranded molecule okay single stranded nucleic acid it is going to be tagged with the um, it is going to be tagged with the radioactivity right um, so it is a single stranded dna or rna molecule so this is so a single stranded dna are tagged with the so this is going to be the correct statement so the correct uh, option is option c the number of nucleotide present in the restriction sequence of first restriction this is what you know the first restriction into nuclease is going to be hind2 right so the hind2 is nothing but it's going to have the um, six base pair sequences as the restriction site or you call it as a 12 nucleotide right um, so here the question they are asking is nucleotide number of nucleotide here the sequence i will write the sequence the sequence is going to be gtc gac C A G C T G, right? So this is uh, this contains uh, six plus six. It is going to be twelve nucleotide. If they ask for base pairs, you can write it as the six base pair. They are asking for nucleotide, so it's going to be twelve. Which of the following restriction endonuclease cannot be used to wipe PBR three twenty two as a, while using the PBR three twenty two as a clone vector? So, dear students, you know the cloning vector PBR three twenty two base. Uh, there is um. Uh, plasmid bolivar rodriguez 322 here you have the tetracycline resistant gene and here you are going to have the ampicillin resistant gene right mm, so uh, the thing that is absent in this um, mm, pbr322 it is you have pvu1 okay protease vulgaris one site whereas you are not going to have this pvu two site okay mm, the restriction site is going to be absent uh, this particular one whereas the bam h1 is present sal1 is present and pst1 is present so the correct option is going to be pvu2 because pbu uh, pbr322 lacks this restriction site the diagram shows the bacterial cell okay they have given the dna and this is the plasmid and they are asking which gene responsible for the replication of the structure x okay mm, so dear students here for the replication the important thing is repressor of primer the repressor of primer is nothing but the rop it is involved in the replication of this particular mm, plasmid so the correct option is going to be rop which of the following statement is an example of genetic engineering so inserting a gene from the human insert i think so this is a dear uh, student this comes under the zoology portion so it will be discussed in the zoology portion the ligase enzyme are used in genetic engineering to the ligase enzyme i clearly explained to you it is called as a mm, molecular glue it acts as a gum in sealing the nicks okay so the correct option is um, option d dear students because it is going to be joining the dna human dna to a plasmid dna forming a chimeric one right so option d is correct here question number 47 which factor or feature of bacteria makes them especially useful in biotechnology mm, they are often pathogens so we cannot use that we most of them are useful they have the unique genetic code no they have the cell walls this is irrelevant to the particular question because they are asking why it is useful in biotechnology as yes, they reproduce rapidly yes their generation time is very less so we can produce large amount of the product what we are expecting for through genetic engineering process right so the correct option is going to be option 4 <clears throat> excuse me question number 48 the foreign gene is inserted into pbr322 using the restriction endonuclease eco r1 which of these is true about the e coli having this pbr322 so dear student you should know you i think so you have you know the structure of this pbr322 so in the antibiotic resistant gene okay you are going to have bam h1 site sal1 site Mm, uh, pst1 site okay uh, so here uh, the thing is uh, um, the eco r1 site comes here it does it's not going to be present in any of this antibiotic resistant gene okay so if that is going to be present you see the first option it will be resistant to both the antibiotic uh, ampicillin as well as antibiotic tetracycline yes because this eco r1 site is not present in either of this antibiotic resistant gene 
so it won't be getting inactive insertion inactivated right so option a is correct for this table so, so this was a nice question right and 49th question eco r1 always cuts the dna molecule at a particular point by recognizing a specific sequence already i have explained you so this uh, particular eco r1 is going to cleave the sequence especially in between Mm, G and A, right? So if you cut the G and A, you are going to have the sticky ends left over with this. You are going to have A, A, T, T, C. So the correct option is option A. So question number 50. Some of the characteristics of BT carton are long fiber, Beat the basal is genetically engineered cotton, medium long fiber resistant to the beetle pest. No, it's to cotton bollworms, right? High yielding and production of toxin protein with a tissue diphtheran in it. Yeah, high yield and resistance to the bollworm. Yes, dear students, the correct option is the BT cotton. We have the high yield because the bollworms are going to affect the particular um, uh, cotton seed, right? So here we are going to particularly um, got kill the bollworms uh, so these plants are going to be resistant to the bollworms and we have the high yield the correct option is going to be option d so this comes under the zoology portion yes zoology yes question number 53 analyze the action of restriction endonuclease given in the p and q you can see here these diagram so in this part, after the cleaving by restriction in enzyme, we have this sticky ends. Yes, we have the single strand overhang like this, right? Like this, yes. So the uh, P is going to be the sticky end and Q, we have the uh, fragment like this. It is the blunt end cut. So P and Q is blunt end. So option, uh, Yes, correct, dear students. Question number 54. The golden rice is a promising transgenic crop when released for cultivation, it will help. So, I have already first question I have discussed only about this only. The golden rice where it is going to be genetically modified crop with the beta carotene gene inserted. So, it is going to nullify the vitamin A deficiency. The correct option is option A, dear students. Question number 55, which is the antisense technology. When a piece of RNA that is used as a complement in the sequence used to stop the expression of specific gene. Yes, because in antisense RNA technology, where the sense RNA is going to form a complementary base pairing with the antisense RNA, so this RNA is going to form a double bond so that the particular mm, the expression of the particular gene is going to be silenced, right? So this is, we call it as antisense RNA technology. So option A is correct for this question, dear students. The polymerase chain reaction is a technique. I said that polymerase chain reaction is in vitro technique. It is uh, uh, done in, under a laboratory condition where you can amplify the DNA. The small amount of DNA is converted into a large amount of DNA, right? So here the correct option is it is a in vitro reaction. Yes, it is not EMR. It is in vitro replication of specific DNA sequencing using a thermostable DNA polymerase. We call it as a tag DNA polymerase, right? Yeah. So the correct option is option D. Question number 57, the BT toxin is produced by the bacteria bacillus thuringiensis. These BT toxin crystals contain a toxic insect protein. The toxin coded by the gene named the cry, which has many variants, which one of the following procedure a toxin that controls the corn borer. I have already explained to you cry 1 A B codes for corn borer, whereas cry 2 A B and cry 1 A C codes for four bowl worms, right? So here the question is about the corn borer. So dear student, the correct option is going to be option B. When we look at the foreign DNA, the cell one side of PBR322, the uh, plasmid will lose the tetracycline resistance. So uh, definitely the recombinant plasmid will lose the tetracycline resistance, right? And because the gene of interest is going to be inserted in a particular um, uh, place. So, Mm, recombinant plasmid and then uh, insertion of the foreign DNA but still can be selected out from the non-recombinant. Yes, you will have also the non-recombinant ones, right? 
we have for that to in order to identify that the ampicillin resistance is going to be intact right so we can plate it in the ampicillin containing medium we can going to um, separate this non recombinant so the b should be non recombinant um, by plating the by plating the transformer yes so transformer transformer is going to take up the particular plasmid what we are going to insert right so the correct option is going to be option b here okay so 58th question option b is correct so the restriction in sensitivity to acts on the palindromic specific sequences sequence of dash base pair so here the question is again base pair it is going to be option c six base pair already i have mm, given you the sequence so it is going to be g t c g c c a g c t g it is going to be having a blunt in front like this okay so it is going to be six base pair or 12 nucleotide so the correct option is option c question number 60 which of the statement about the tag polymer is used in the pbr uh, pcr is not correct it is used in the used for primary extension used to synthesize the new dna it's a correct it's a thermostable enzyme and can be survey up to the temperature so dna stored and here the temperature is 95 degrees centigrade so thermostable enzyme that is a tag dna polymerase survey up to the temperature of 95 it is uh, two it is given as 120 for the um, statement regarding the pcr that is not correct here is statement two because it is given 125 okay it should be 95 nearly Identify labeling A and B, C in this plasmid given below. Okay, so where is A? So A here. So A here. Here we have the ampicillin resistance, and here we have a tetracyclin resistance. B is tetracyclin resistant, and C is going to be yes. It is said to be R O P, the pressure of prime. So the correct option here is going to be. It's given no, no. So the correct option is option B. So which of the following represents the steps involved in genetically modified organism comes under zoology? Ah, uh, coming to the question number sixty-three, the fragment of DNA can be visualized using staining. So, dear students, if you are going to uh, separate the particular DNA fragment via gel electrophoresis, you are going to add the ETBR into the medium so that this ETBR is going to stack in between the bases. Okay. Of so when you are going to see this under the UV illumination, they are going to be uh, what uh, glittering. Okay, in orange color, we can see the orange color bands. So here the correct option is going to be ETBR, that is ethidium bromide. Which of the following two out of four statements are incorrect? So this comes under the zoology portion. So it will be discussed in the zoology section. Gel electrophoresis is used for. It is used for separation of DNA fragments according to the size, right? So this is going to be the gel electrophoresis. Uh, this thing, this is the well. Okay. If you are going to add the DNA into this, if the DNA size is going to be very less, it is going to move faster towards the anode, right? Because these are negatively charged. So if the going size is going to be long, it is going to be present near to the negative. Uh, and there is a to, towards the cathode, right? So it is going to separate the DNA according to the size. So this is the correct answer. During the isolation of DNA addition of which following causes the precipitation of purified DNA. Dear students, if you want to after the um, elution, if you want to uh, isolate the DNA, we go for the process called as a spooling. Okay, or the this process where you are going to add the chill ethanol. Okay, we are going to chill ethanol. The DNA is going to be spooled out like this. It's going to form this pool of DNA. Okay, this we the correct option is going to be chilled ethanol. This is called as pooling. In which of the following is not the application of PCR? So PCR detect a very low concentration of bacteria and viruses. Yes, the early detection of yes, it's the correct detection of mutations in the genes and suspected cancer patients. Yes, this is also a correct statement. Correct. Amplification of disease. Yes, detection of antibodies. Say, dear students, we cannot detect antibodies in this because this is the property of Lyellaise, right? So in PCR we can't do. It. So this is not application of PCR. It's going to be option D. 
and the restriction enzyme work by cleaving so the restriction enzyme here i told about the gatpc right so here the phosphodiester bond that is going to be present in between uh, the g and a is going to be cleaved here okay so the correct option is going to be the phosphodiester linkage not the glycosidic linkage so the option b is correct here dear students so question number 69 techniques to alter the genetic material is known as genetic engineering we call this science as genetic engineering where we are going to um, cut the piece of dna and we are going to insert it into a particular desired host and we are going to get the product desired product right so this process we call it as a genetic engineering so question number 70 which option is incorrectly matched So E co R one yes it produces the sticky ends. DNA ligase multiplication of DNA molecules. Dear students, I said the DNA ligase acts as a molecular glue. It is going to join the DNA segments, right? So the incorrect option is option B. Or A is in, uh, is linked to the forming the high copy number selectable. Yes, all these are correct. The incorrect statement is option B. Question seventy one. Which of the following is correct regarding to the separation of DNA fragments during the gel electrophoresis? So here the smallest fragment will move. No, I have just given you the diagram, right? So in case of this gel electrophoresis, the so the smaller DNA from the well. This is the well. The smaller fragments going to move near to the anode. So the largest fragments. So I think so. You can understand what I am trying. The largest fragment, right? So this is the order. So the smallest fragment will move to the farthest point towards the anode. So dear students, option B is going to be correct. Largest fragment will move to the farthest point. No, largest fragment will move to the farthest towards the cathode. So this is the incorrect statement. So option B is going to be correct. Choose a statement. The presence of more than one recognition site for one enzyme within a vector guarantees several fragments which complicate the gene cloning. Yes, this is the correct statement because if you have the multiple cloning site to have the same restriction enzyme, you are going to have uh, you are not going to do this uh, uh, genetic engineering process effectively because the particular uh, um, plasmid is going to be cleaved into multiple fragment. Then what is the cloning? So, uh, so this is the correct statement here. Ligation of DNA is carried out with the restriction site. No, because the replication is going to be affected, right? PBR three twenty two one antibiotic resistant gene helps in the selection of transform, whereas other helps in cloning. So, dear student, here the correct option is going to be option B. So, coming to this question seventy three, a DNA fragment was cleaved by using the restriction endonuclease and the restriction in say A B C produced fragments are produced. Given below, select the option represents the correct gel electrophoresis separation of these fragments. Dear student, you this is again a concept oriented. You see this uh, section. In this, the B is going to be very small, followed by A, and then C is the very large. So what will happen? The B will move faster towards the anode, right? So here, C the options. So in the positive uh, side, definitely we'll have the first smaller fragment, and then the next. Uh, Mm, size to the B and next to the C. So the correct option is going to be option B, dear students. Okay, okay, dear students. So I think this session would be a very useful session for you about the lesson biotechnology principle and processes and biotechnology applications, right? So I am Dr. Rathi Sri, the D. S. Sini, Botany Faculty of Spire Road Primary Education Institute, Namakal and Chennai. So, dear students, you subscribe the Spyro Academy channel, and if you want the question paper, please click the link given below. So, thank you.